welcome once again to this series that we are running on the Central Vista. And uh, uh, also, I uh, am really thankful to Vivan Sundram sir, who's joined us to uh, discuss on, uh, on, on, on the issue of Central Vista. And as most of us know, Vivan is an artist and someone who's uh, been there for the last five to I mean, more than five decades. Um, and who works into that interdisciplinary art, social and architecture. And I think that's uh, so important to have Vivan uh, with us. And uh, uh, just to go into retrospective, I think uh, to mention that Vivan was also the Kiranada uh, uh, Museum of Art and Hode Constant Munich. House, House uh, where, Constant, yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, please correct me for the, for the, oh, no. for the pronunciation. And, um, of course, Vivan was uh, the petitioner in the Central Vista uh, uh, case that uh, went to the Supreme Court and which gave uh, two to one verdict. Uh, so multimedia artist and Vivan is also associated with Lokpat, one of the pioneer uh, organizations to actually lead this uh, movement uh, on the redevelopment of the Central Vista impact against the redevelopment of Central Vista. So thank you, Vivan. I mean, with the, thank uh, you. Nice for, to talk to you. Yeah. yeah joining us uh, everyone we've, we've done actually a series of uh, uh, of episodes on on central vista right from i've seen quite quite a number of them <laughs> some Thank people you. i only so... know like madhav and narayan murthy <laughs> yeah and AGK true, and all. so we've, we've spoken about people. history we've, we've spoken about you know the architecture we've spoken about many many issues today what concerns actually uh, i mean I mean, the impression that has actually passed on to the people is that, look, what is the problem in, in case uh, the government constructs a new parliament building? But now we are realizing it's not just a new parliament building. And even that, if that has to be constructed, I mean, one can't imagine to be doing so in, an, uh, in, in a period when we are struck with the pandemic, when thousands and thousands of our people are dying for want of oxygen, for, for want of basic uh, medical health facilities. Well, keeping that apart, I think what is also what is is also now unraveling or or what is actually unfolding, is uh, you know the 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 uh, the demolition uh, of the IG the Indira Gandhi National Center for Arts the museum, uh, I mean all that was stored in our heritage, and many are actually pointing out uh, that this could also be you know to get rid of uh, whatever. Uh, heritage that we have, at least when, when when you get rid of the museum, I mean, you know, so so a new generation that gets developed. So it's part of that ideological and historical task. How do you look at this entire process that is taking place? Yeah, well, you know, you said a lot in a nutshell, and uh, many people know about it. And these are complex and uh, difficult times. And uh, one has been partisan, as you have already stated, and that how do we Pitch when I say we, that uh, uh, as I said, my association with Lokpat, and that as an artist, how does one, you know, uh, work in that kind of quite terrifying space? I mean, there is, uh, there used to be an age of anxiety. Now, this is the age of fear, and the fear is coming through multiple or uh, different uh, routes. There is the fear, of course from the biological aspect of, of COVID-19. But there is the fear of, uh, of even the state and many, many people, uh, hundreds have experienced that. And that uh, one has to then bring together democratic forces, which I believe still are alive and I don't have to quote the instances where they are able <laughs> to speak out. But to come back to the Central Vista, it is an extraordinary uh, project. I mean, of a, of a scale, no doubt, which nobody in contemporary India has seen. And so, in a sense, whatever the uh, wishes of of the of the Prime Minister, the leader who wants some stamp to be put on, uh, there is the company HCP, which is. Uh, you know, executing this project. I won't go into that, but just to say that there is, uh, it's all, you know, in people's image, it's a top angle view, in fact, 
of 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 models because we have no information even about the parliament where it's being dug deep down for lower levels but even that is a model so this uh, aspect of hiding of secrecy one really wonders what what is the reason because the company the chief architect is a very sophisticated well educated person and uh, what should he be afraid of he has nothing to be afraid of to put all this out in the public domain and there is a increasing voice of this public domain and uh, i'm party with that so you know you said this is a kind of shift from the age of anxiety I mean, which i find is quite good because you know then you bring in that creativity amongst the people but yeah, at the age of fear yeah, not that, yeah. where you demolish the where you demolish the creativity okay yeah. so i mean what kind of a society so how do you i mean so these angularities that we're trying to discuss and build how do you actually correlate it to the to the entire process of redevelopment of central west i mean there's something, there's something very important that you've said from the age of anxiety to the age yeah, of well, fear that was connected very much with a kind of existential aspect to it and as picasso said uh cezanne expressed one of the first this age of anxiety and made one of the greatest examples of modern art so that is part of you know 20th century history but we are very much into the 21st century and that the forces that are there and now globally as well that are uh, coming together and uh, that it's unfortunate that when there was democratic aspirations there's a great birth or a resurgence i shouldn't say resurgence but a growing uh, social media presence but social media you know occupies a huge space but there's a much larger space outside as we know there are the people who are not connected and how do those people in some way get involved and how are the creative people the thinkers the intellectuals the historians the economists you know how are they able to speak uh, their voice uh, to then say how did this happen how is it happening in front of our eyes i mean just digging up the central vista for some toilets which is a euphemism i think there are other reasons yeah. for it understandably <laughs> because if you are building so many large blocks of uh, uh, bureaucratic uh, people to live in uh, sorry to work in then obviously you need a lot of underground sewage so we have to see that and all the other aspects of it but to come to the ground above i mean again as i said we there's nothing or so little put in the public as a general impression and i'm now being uh, as an art speaking as an artist not as a, an architect that the buildings strangely have a way of not looking out but looking in and that all these spaces are in a kind of uh, i mean they're not exactly square they uh, have a looking into a square but there is intentionally not to look out onto rajpath you look you got your backs to it from whatever i've seen there no so what does that mean what what does that mean in, well, in, say, in common is, parlance well i think i mean i you know artists are a bit free in their use of words but i think that it is some wish to uh to kind of look inwards not to be open to the public okay. and this has been commented upon a lot i mean all the new technologies of tod which i just learned from uh yeah. matter someone what that means that yeah. these sophisticated interior passages from the metro to that and it will all travel underground yeah. nobody will be seen you know all these huge number of buildings all the offices will then move in this subterranean way move through lifts go into their place and they'll all you know be there working and then they will leave i mean what happens when they leave those that have cars or who don't use metro so i think that there is something in the design of efficiency certainly of wanting to get to your place uh, as quickly as possible uh, criticism that 
there was never enough parking space. So unless you had a driver, you had to keep looking. So things like that, certainly a certain aspect of efficiency and newness is, is necessary. Uh, that's a, that begs the question that why does every single ministry have to be on two sides of the Rajpath? And we know, and uh, and on one from the uh, the uh, the main Vijay Chowk, uh, on one side is the Prime Minister's residence, and on the other side will come the new Parliament. And then, where is the democratic space to go in and move into that space? So many architects, so many people have uh, said that although technically. Uh, HCP might say that we are not occupying this public space at all. We have not taken a square inch into that. Mm -hmm. It will be available for the janta. But that's begging the question because if on both sides you have these, you know, Brilliant. huge buildings Brilliant. and they are like in fortress like position and everyone. With snipers, have, snipers at the top. Yeah. As you, you, you got the word for me. You know, I don't believe. And so far, there's no, there's no helipad on any of them, but that, that could also be. So I think that this, you know, is going to create a, a fear in people that what space are we entering into and what's going on behind. I mean, there's some trees up to a level, but they are going up six stories and and almost yeah. was to be uh, higher than the India Gate, or at least Parliament was, and then that's been you know brought down. So this assertion uh, of whether it is of numbers that are needed or an image, and images are very important, you know, in this particular uh, direction that the state or the leader wants to move in, and and the architect, you know, is intelligent and he knows you know, how to supply that kind of form. And uh, there's not been enough discussion because architects understandably say, we don't have enough data. So how can we uh, make comments? You as an artist can use some expressive words, but that, you know, constitutes not the full or the real picture. Mm -hmm. So we will have to be continuously in waiting, you know, till that moment comes. Then I'll come later on to okay. the cultural hub. Okay. Now, I think uh, we just uh, switch over to our, uh, you know, the main proposition that we had uh, laid about the, the National Archives, the museum and the Indira Gandhi National Center of Arts. And I'm told that uh, the museum will, will be uh, coming up in the North and South blocks. And of course, the parliament will also become one of uh, the largest museums of our heritage. But I mean, there's a fear that, and as you said, this is the age of fear. I mean, there's and lots of writings we are we, we are looking at uh, that are pointing out, you know, to the to to the damage that it can do to the syncretic culture that we've had. You know, we've had different. Uh, uh, we we've had the Buddha, we, we've had the Buddha, Buddha period. We have uh, different forms actually of uh, of cultural diversity that we have witnessed in india and i think that is what india is all about the the the, the massive diversity so i mean i mean how how genuine how how uh, valid is this criticism of uh, you know uh, playing with with the with the with the heritage and the museum and the archives yeah well, some think... say archives are not about but i think they are very important yeah no well that's uh tough question to answer playing, you know, with this historical uh, material and data or misusing it. Okay. I think that is not a question that anybody can answer because answer okay. can come back. Where is the proof? I mean, huh. without anything happening, how are you assuming that this will take, take place? So I think that we have to, to keep, you know, aside. But the main anxiety, and in fact, uh, it's surprisingly that it has come up very late in the last few weeks or a month or two months that both these buildings, you know, were named to be demolished, means raised to the ground. And uh, the collections, of course, the archive has incredible data and uh, the Na <clears throat> National Archive was not supposed to could not be because it's grade one building. But even there was a slip there, I believe, uh, important architect pointed it out and that uh, so that's not good 
but everybody has said that the annex actually now has the major amount of the data and that little strip you know is to be part of this uh, office complex so that has you know kind of sung uh, alarm bells all over the world because you know the indian archive so, as well as the museum has you know uh, incredible amount and range of of work into running into lakhs and to and as namana hoja i said would did a remarkable uh, exhibition in the national museum about 6 7 years ago said that yeah the we are not so efficient at our at our data collecting and our data sorting and presenting so there are many gaps in it and then we are anxious you know that will these be you know uh, uh, known that what went and what didn't go all that so that's a big big anxiety that how can you know it just slip under the carpet under the table passed on to somebody else you know there are uh, i i've heard that many of the senior curators have retired one recently died so there's very little staff to oversee this work uh, and 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 i believe it is still not started they are planning a, a an exhibition of the central asian art so i think that that you know the answer to that uh, no nobody has and it hasn't come forward by the uh, architectural firm okay so vivan i think the uh, moving on to the final uh, question and uh, it pertains to uh, you know uh, art is such an important form of uh, manifestation but everyone doesn't understand that and uh, unfortunately the kind of movement that i mean i mean i'm saying of uh, unfortunately for the simple reason that you know the uh, the uh, the opposition or Uh, the counter to to the to this entire process of redevelopment has come from the artists, from the architects. It has not gone to the public domain. After all, it is the people. I mean, I mean, this all all this belongs to the people. The government is just a custodian. I mean, so I mean, what do you think should be? Uh, uh, and we've seen what the courts, how the courts have also behaved. So, and it's it's a common heritage. Uh, it's it's not that uh, you know it's a heritage of A, B, or C. so what do you think i mean needs to be done uh, or uh, of course we are we are finding voices but those voices may be very temporary i mean once the pandemic is over they may just uh, uh, mellow down because you know one of the vociferous voices are coming that look when there's a pandemic but even if when there's not not a pandemic why still we should have the central vista redevelopment project what do you think should be the way forward yeah that's you know nobody can really answer that question okay. and i have to say lokpat if you see the amount of uh, writings they have got yes. they've been yes. very exceptionally well tabulated when narayan murthy was looking yeah. after communication in in the digital languages so as much outreach was possible by a group of architects who you know put their own money into the kitty to ra- run it and of course certainly more efforts can be made And, you know you go to change dot org etc but i would like to come back uh, to the question about uh, to counter uh, a proper with a proposition that why demolish that there, there is particularly a senior architect like uh, ag krishna menon who believes that conservation but not just conservation but retroactive dynamic uh, uh, transformation of the museum all over the world takes place and uh, first i was told that three fourths was built of the museum but uh, uh, just now madhav said no it's not three fourths it's half and i just happened oh. to have googled last night because i said how big is this area and okay. with my little ruler i measured <laughs> that the length on janpat is is uh, 150 meters long and on the side it is no sorry 300 meters long okay. site is 175 and at the at the half of it the other half now the uh, temporary uh, archaeological survey of india which was there you just in the photograph you'll find bricks on the ground so that other half is available for a, a new extension of the building so apart from the old building you know yeah. being 
uh, rationalize the space, you have a whole new building. And I think this is a very exciting moment that this is what the cultural hub that a contemporary interpretation of it, we hope it will be uh, well done and that they will be all, you know, scrutinized. It could be if the group architects feel that why not it be international or national. That's not the main thing is I'm a strong believer that this site, you know, with having a sense of history where if you're 70 years old or you went to that place, you have a huge memory. Children have been there and it's been ongoing to shift it somewhere else, you know, just makes sense. And it is possible and it is not an unfair demand. I mean, the state can build a large amount, but in this, uh, what was called the cultural hub by <clears throat> Latins and Baker, they had the uh, archive which uh, could not be broken. And then post-independence, uh, the National Museum was built by Deloitte, who was built, built the National, uh, the sorry, the Supreme Court and other major buildings. And, and I think that the building itself, you know, has an impressive quality, a gravitas, a weight, uh, and, and it can be, you know, made into a kind of very contemporary dynamic space. And one director, Veni Vasudeva, was there. I read a report. He just transformed the museum. You know, he opened it out, and there were shops yes. and cafes and all. So even in the old building, and if money can be brought in, and I'm now here that there's a pressure put on the government that you stopped all NGOs to get money from abroad, and I think that <laughs> that it should be challenged because if supposing people feel strongly that this should survive and that there is, you know, uh, a support for it. It could come from across the world that, yes, we yeah. want, you know, an extension. It requires money. The state can, you know, public private partnership. And I, maybe I'm being romantic, but I think that <laughs> could make a tremendous, you know, extension yeah. and you would have really all the space uh, that you want, you know, for this museum. So I'll end on that. Thank you, Ivan. And just to, I mean, when you were uh, 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 mentioning AGK and especially restoration uh, of, of the building, I mean, why do we forget? We did it with Gaiti Theatre in Simla, no? And with the town hall, I mean, the Gaiti Theatre that was burned, I mean, we restored it to the uh, to its uh, to its old glory and the yeah, Gaiti Theatre. I, I, I know that building from childhood. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. that's, that's why, that's why we, since we have that common thread, I thought, I must point out. Yeah, thank you, Vivan. Right. I think thank thank you so much. I think yeah, but uh, I don't think that uh, uh, I should be that cynical. But uh, uh, at the same time, that the age of fear that you pointed out, and some of uh, our uh, panelists who, who, who actually raised this question that actually there is a deliberate attempt. Maybe we are not able to substantiate it now, but you know. Uh, we can, we can smell that in the air. We can smell that uh, in, in the political environment. And of course, now it is reaching to the art. And thank you so much, Vivan, for joining you. with us. And, and uh, all the best for all of us who are part and parcel of this movement uh, for actually, I won't say conserving, but actually uh, reclaiming our right in in, 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 in Yes, the, that, that is the spirit of yeah. democracy. And yeah. as I said, the large part of this country you know, is is there and it has to be mobilized in different ways and it has happened. But of course, culture takes a back seat, you know, by almost all political parties. So <laughs> this particular space, these two, the archive and the and the extension, we all have to fight and make it, you know, get uh, national and global support. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.